All right, guys, this is the 10th hired request for 2016. It is ABBA SOS. A lot of fun. This is a piano solo arrangement, so it's got the melody in the right hand. A lot of fun to play. And of course, let me stand up. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song as well as thousands and thousands of other lessons that I've made over the past nine years are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices. Use Google Chrome or Firefox for best results. I've got something on there for everybody, whatever type of music you're into. I've got something on there for you, I guarantee you. Um, even if you're a complete beginner and you need basic instruction, a practice plan, a strategy just to get started, scroll down to the L's in my main library list for lessons. There are 50 of them. Uh, and they'll just get you started. Just the basics of my method, what chords are, what scales are, how to get your hands playing together, how to start playing in rhythm. That'll get you ready to play the rest of the lessons on my site. <clears throat> Check me out on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. See what I'm up to, see what's new and upcoming for the site. So I'm loving this new board that I'm using. This uh, I'm using an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, and it's working very good. I'm using the Good Notes application, and it's just a joy to use. So I can spend more time, uh, you know, not having to do whiteboards and all that, but uh, just do an electronic one. It's just so much easier. So we're going to start here with F and A on the right hand. And I want to tell you too, the melody is in the right hand, but I show you two ways to play it. One is an easier way, and the second way is a, is a more difficult way that sounds better. Um, that's the way I played for you when I played all the big chords. So I'll show you how to do that, how to add some notes to the chord, and uh, to make it a bigger arrangement, a more satisfying arrangement musically. But if you need something simpler, uh, I'll also show you that too. So just uh, beginner, intermediate, that type of area. Uh, this should suit you just fine. So. So this beginning part, we're just going to do thirds. Okay, F and A with three and five. E and G with two and four. So don't try to play thirds all with one and three. Some people do that. I go all over the piano playing one and three. Learn to use those other fingers, okay? So three and five, two and four, D and F will be in one and three. Okay, now don't go and hold the pedal down and ruin it. Let's have some space in there. And then, for this one you can go, let's see, three, five, I like to use one and four on the C and E so that the B flat and D can be two and three. Or you may just want to go three, five again. I'm weird. I have weird fingerings because I'm a classically trained pianist. All right, and then we're going to go B flat, D with three and five, A and C with two and four, D and B flat with one and three, and then you can barely see at the end there F and A, and the left hand goes on a D. Okay, sounds cool up high too. All right, I'm also going to show you how to do. Um... I messed that up a little bit, but that's fun to play on there too. Not as hard as it sounds. I know it sounds difficult, but um, you should be able to do it with a little practice and understanding what the chords are there. So that's the free part one for you. One more time. you guys enjoy that. I'll see you on the website webpianoteacher.com and we'll talk to you later.